Okay, so I'm back again, and uh, in this video I want to take a look a little bit initially about uh, how we can um, profile a little bit on the on the performance of this setup. So um, before I do anything else, I think I'm gonna start off by uh, uh, pulling down some walls here and some stuff, and so this one and this one and. Gonna size this up somewhat and like this. Okay, and then I am gonna place a ton more of these. So I'm gonna set this to maybe 0 0.7. So then this should be pretty high and make a pretty large brush. And then start up a um, cropping a lot of these guys here all right so let's start up the game and see how it looks so um, if I turn on would you stop doing that please um, if you type in, uh, bring out the console and type stat FPS, uh, we are hanging at um, something like uh, 100 and something frames per second. And type in stat. Oh, let's not do that yet. Um, so if I start to run around now, uh, if we watch the counter here at the side, we can see that it's um, falling now to 50. 40 and it's getting really really bad quickly because we will end up having a lot of blueprints in our level so as you can see now the performance has really dropped uh, to a non-working state um, so we need to do something about this and I mentioned that in the previous video we need to keep track on what we are close to and uh, what we are not. So that this is not going to work as it is. Yes, um, so to do that we will introduce uh, an array of uh, active um, instances of uh, active uh, blueprints. Um, and to keep track of that we need a structure because we need to keep track of several informations to be able to switch them back and forth uh, so I'm gonna add a structure for this call this the foliage struct and we need to keep track of the transform so that's the location in short um, and we look at the the blueprint here we need to, uh, we, we spawn a new uh, active blueprint here uh, and we need to uh, remove that eventually so we also need a reference to that um, uh, let's see this is not going to be pretty anyway um, so let's create a reference to that um, let's call it um, foliage BP and that's going to be an actor. And uh, let's see, Let, let's keep this for now. And let's uh, create the, uh, the array. So it's going to be an array of uh, type foliage struct. And let's call this the active um, foliage uh, foliages. And when we switch out something here, we want to add uh, one of these. And we want to populate it with the transform and we want to populate it with the blueprint. And actually we also need a few more informations because um, the way the foliage works is that um, all these um, are right now just uh, just one. Uh, we have two and a half thousand 
of these ferns. Okay, uh, that's a lot. Okay, um, but the way th this is uh, this static mesh is located at index zero uh, of the um, uh, foliage actor. So uh, if you have um, a painting with ferns and you're also painting with something else, um, you will get several of these. And um, that means that uh, we need to know what, which of these we uh, switched out. So if you have a uh, this bark myrtle I talked about in the beginning, then that, and put that here, that, that then it would be at uh, index one. So we also need um, uh, um, static mesh uh, index which is going to be that number uh, integer and since I am not still not entirely sure if we can have more of these or just one but um, as it is right now we only have one uh, but anyway we need a reference to that actor anyway so um, I'm just since we're just all prototyping I'm gonna add a reference to that inside this one so I'm gonna call this um, uh, foliage actor. So this is the the big bad foliage actor. Um, so we also need to pop that in somewhere, and we get a reference to that from the the hit actor here. Um, so let's drag that one out and plug that in here. And for now, we since we only have this SM fern zero one, uh, and it's always at zero, uh, at index zero, uh, we're just gonna leave this one hard coded to zero, and we need to figure out a way to get this index um, in a better way. But I'm not gonna cover that in this video, so just um, uh, note that this is hard coded right now. Okay, so now we we are getting um, an array populated um, gradually. Um, so let's add a sequence here because we also now need to get rid of those that we don't uh, need anymore. But to be in there, let's just keep, um, let's just print out a, a debug here. Yeah. Print and say we only need this for one frame and then we are interested in the length of this array. See how many we have uh, uh, converted. And like that. So if we play now, we, we haven't really fixed the problem. So we can see um, the number out here, 115 at the moment, is the number uh, we have a, a, a blueprint access in our scene. So let's type in stat FPS. And you can see as soon as we hit something like 400, it's already it's, it's it's starting to look really, really bad. And uh, now we're up at 600 and it's looking terrible already. Um, so this number is just gonna keep growing and growing. So we need to find a way to decrease this. Um, and the way to do that is to take our active foliages here and constantly um, check if we are out of range of them again and um, this one we want to break open and we want to make a check to see if um, the distance from ourself uh, we have uh, this one up here so this is the actual location plus this little offset and so on um, so break that one open break transform and uh, let's compare this one by subtracting them. And then we want to get the length, the vector length, and check if this is greater than. So let's say we have 300 here. So let's give it uh, like 500, 400 maybe. Let's try that first, see if that works out. Um, See if I can collapse this a little bit. Uh, anyway, this is not really important. Um, but um, what we want to do here is to uh, 
let's see. Uh, we want to take. Well, one thing we need to do is we need to uh, destroy the blueprint again. So let's start off by destroying this one. So that's the easy one. And we also need to respawn the correct uh, foliage instant static mesh. So as you remember up here, we casted this to the component, to an instant static mesh component. So we need to get one of these again and pop back into our um, foliage actor. So the foliage, uh, okay, foliage BP, sorry. Good thing I saw that. <laughs> so this one, that's the one we want to, bad naming, uh, they all called almost the same. But the foliage actor here, we need to drag out here and say, um, get a component by class. And the class uh, we're going to type in is the same as this up here. So it's an instance static mesh component. And that's going to give us this array. And the array, um, we, from this array, we're going to get um, well, we only have one of these, um, um, so this can actually just be zero, but um, since we already feed it in with the zero, let's just connect this one up, um, right? And um, then we need to add uh, instance back, and we want to add it back at the transform that we saved, and we want to do that afterwards here. And once that is done, we just need to make sure to remove that one again. So um, I guess we can just drag this one out again and say um, we need want to remove this guy here, this item from that array. And that should be something we can test now. Okay, something is wrong. Uh, 400, maybe 500? No. Um, we are not getting it back again. Why are we not getting it back again? Foliage, actor, hit, item, hit, actor. Oh, I uh, messed that one up. I removed the the instance before I I add it so things are not gonna match up so need to switch these two and need to connect the instance index um, the instance index it's gonna be the hit item and what we want to remove is the instant static mesh component so now it should work yeah much better so we have a 3840 something whatever and you can see the number is constant now or more or less constant and um, the frame rate never drops to anything really bad um, with this approach so um, so the well, we have a collision capsule uh, uh, collision trace, and um, we have a few issues with the collision with the camera still. Um, but that's something we will look to look into later. Right now, I'm just interested in seeing how we can improve this, if at all. Um, but it's something uh, we can work with, I guess. Also, uh, you want to know that this contains two and a half thousand uh, static meshes right now with um, uh, two thousand triangles each. So that's quite a lot uh, to handle. And um, yeah, it's still performing kind of the same as it, it did uh, before. So uh, I think that is uh, something we can continue working with and see if we can improve a little bit on. Um, 
so yeah um, let's um, actually let's for for just for testing this out let's go ahead here and let's the that camera thing is driving me crazy so let's go ahead and change this to custom and uh, let's see the camera is set to ignore here okay so that's okay block all it was and let's see the fern blueprint from the skeleton mesh component is set to ragdoll if we set this to custom and set the camera to ignore and uh, we should be able to have a pretty steady camera instead of the camera just jumping up and down. So that's just a quick fix of doing this. So now we can we can see how it looks running through the, the bushes. And uh, as you can see, if things are still popping up and making all this uh, this movement initially. That's something we need to look into, definitely. Um, and um, yeah, but that's something we'll do in the, uh, one of the future videos. Um, I think that's it for uh, this time. Um, yeah, um, stay tuned. I will keep working with this uh, and see if we can improve on, on it. And yeah, thank you for watching and bye bye.